Um, the point of the uh, video, boys, is to actually show you how you can actually take the current waveform and extrapolate the uh, RPM or the rotational speed of the uh, of the the motor-driven appliance that's actually under consideration. Um, this won't be new to some of you guys, but it might be new to others, and uh, that's fine. Uh, you've read it in a book probably you probably heard other guys talking about it But we're actually going to go ahead and I'm going to actually use my optical coupled uh, Tachometer and we'll actually measure the actual RPM of the uh, uh, Of the fan versus our calculated speed. So what I'll do is I'll actually start it up boys I've got me uh, <laughs> Something like Popeye. <laughs> I've got me uh, uh, Clamp on that meter actually around the supply there. So I'll just actually put the Power supply on you can see the fan is actually rotating and there's our waveform So that's good enough all I'm gonna do is stop the waveform Bring this back up a wee bit It's drawing about four amps and change there boys I'm just gonna stop the waveform so I'm going to use the uh, the Graticule references, the uh, uh, the X reference, and I'm just going to see those two humps there. I'm just going to put them to the top so I can identify them more clearly. So I can see the two there that I've got touching the top line, and it looks like those are a wee bit similar, but not quite the same. And those appear to be the same two humps. So the two humps followed by three small ones and a bastardized one three small ones and a bastardized hump so take your uh, rulers and take select uh, go into the measure mode there um, well the measure mode will come up automatically once you actually move the rulers on the Pico boys as you likely know and get the differential time or the period for one rotation um, that's what we're looking at here because there's this is a 12 segment uh, motor that's driving the fan as far as I can tell so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 back to the first one so it's a 12 segment uh, motor I've picked up the same two segments I've put the rulers and the uh, time between the two is going to be time for one rotation of the uh, of the fan the motor does that make sense I think so so in that time would be 36.82 milliseconds so that's an important time we need to keep that in mind if you're looking to find the revolutions per minute of whatever application it is a cooling fan a blower fan a windshield wiper a motor I don't imagine you'll be doing too many tests on that in this regard with respect to speed but uh, or more importantly, it's it's usable for fuel pumps, boys, because if the speed's way off, you know, there's a, uh, an issue with the pump. But <clears throat> this can be used in any motor-driven application by using the same technique. So to find the RPM, you take 60,000. Why 60,000? Because we're measuring things in milliseconds here. A thousand milliseconds to the, sec to the second, of course. And, of course, 60 seconds. In a minute we're trying to find rpm which is revolutions per minute hence the 60,000 so 60,000 divided by the delta t in milliseconds 60,000 divided by our 36.82 milliseconds that was the period for one rotation so there's our rpm can you see that, boys? Let me zoom you in a wee bit tighter out. You're actually maxed out. So, 16, uh, six, just over 1600 RPM, right? 1629. That's our theoretical speed. A lot of boring math later. Fine. Numbers are all well and good. You read that in a textbook and you think, sure, okay, yeah, you believe it. <laughs> Why wouldn't you believe it, right? But let's actually see if we can confirm that. Okay, so I've just got a wee piece of silver tape on the hub here, boys. Uh, the laser, of course, from the tachometer will actually pick up. It reflects back, and it's essentially just a counter uh, in this rig. So let's actually hook the battery up. See what we can get. Oh, 
I hope you can see that number. Can you see that number? 1585. 1585. Let me take you off the tripod here. 1585 uh, versus our 1629. As I said, the battery, uh, I figured that our actual was going to be a wee bit lower because the battery's depleted that little bit more. That little, that wee bit extra, and um, so we're very, very close. What did I say? Fifteen eighty-five. Uh, I think we're off by one or two percent there, maybe, boys. I don't know. Quick math. That's a bit all I'm good for. So anyway, that's it. Kind of a quick one tonight, boys. Um, I'm gonna kind of do a little series on uh, current clamp uh, waveforms and interpretation of them. What they actually mean. Because um, of course we can have different scenarios where we can have uh, issues with the bushings or bearings in a motor assembly, uh, issues with the windings, open or shorted, um, and a few other scenarios where you can actually, uh, if you are familiar with how to actually interpret the waveform, can actually tell you a great deal about the uh, condition of the machinery that you're actually dealing with. Yeah, so that's enough for one night, I guess. Uh, boys, hopefully uh, you got some value out of that. Um... Yeah, so I'm trying out a few uh, closing slogans for the channel. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards uh, um, these videos are worth every penny you paid for them. Um, but on occasion, you'll still go away feeling ripped off. <laughs> That's it, boys. Cheers.